going to show you action buttons also before I go. So let's open up our shapes. shapes. Okay. When you open up Edit, see this one that says Action Button? If I click on it, there are a couple things I can do. I can make a button that will add text to the window. I can make a button that will speak text immediately. Or I can make a separate button that says Speak the Message Window. So I want to do that. And that's a separate button all itself. See, it says Speak Message. So I'm going to add it to this page. Then I'm going to add another action button. And again, we go up to Action. And it says Clear Message Window. And I think that might be easier for my student than actually double tapping on the message window. So let's see how those work. So Circle. Square. Triangle. Now when I hit Speak Message. Circle. Square. Triangle. It speaks the message. When I hit Clear Message. Clear Message. It goes away. Okay. The other thing you have in your Add Actions is if you look on the second line, text to speech, and there's a little cross. Click to open it up. Now, these are uh, sound effects that you can put on a button, um, which your students might like. There's a good whistle. We'll add that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does a little wolf whistle. You can also, and again, I'm going text to speech and this plus. There's there are expressions you can put on. How about brilliant? And again, it doesn't come with a picture, but we could add one if we wanted. Okay. Oops, I'm still on edit. Brilliant. So some nice ones. The other nice thing, though, I have to show you on these Add Actions, and again, text-to-speech, are the macros at the very last tab. And these are buttons that have commands on them. And the command will change daily. So I could put the date in, either short format or long format. And the button would actually show today's date. And then it will change tomorrow. And I'll, I'll give you an example. Let's do this one and say done. So as you see, here's today's date. Tomorrow, when I open this program up, it's going to say Wednesday, November 6, 2013, automatically. I don't have to go in and change it. So it's a great little um, command to know. Go to Add Actions text-to-speech, macros, and they also have today, yesterday, and tomorrow. And those three buttons, again, will change daily, so you do not have to go in and change them if you don't want to. Okay, let me explain one more time. Let's say I'm going to open my calendar. Calendar. And I'm going to go to Edit. I'm going to go to Add Button. And... Here we go. I'm going to do the second line down, text-to-speech. There's a little plus at the end of that. And now here are my choices. And on the top tab that says Macros, it's the third one. So it says Tuesday. Now I'm going to give it a background color. And I want today to be green. And then we'll just go back and I'll say Done. And now I have the word Tuesday in my calendar. Let's go add yesterday, add action, text to speech, hit the little plus sign, go up to macros. I'm going to hit yesterday. And see it says Monday right there. It already knows what yesterday was. And my color is going to be red for yesterday. Um, Keep going back. We'll say done. Now I have Monday and Tuesday, and let's do tomorrow. So again, I'm going to add action, text to speech. I'll hit that button. I'll go up here to the macros tab, and then I'm going to hit tomorrow. And see, it already knows tomorrow is Wednesday. So I'm going to add a background color. We'll make that one yellow. And there are my three days in my calendar. Now, Wednesday. 
Monday, Tuesday. Okay. So it says the word. It doesn't say today is Monday or today is Tuesday or today is Wednesday. It just says a day. Now, tomorrow, this Wednesday, will say Thursday. Wednesday. This Monday will say Tuesday, and this Tuesday will say Wednesday. It will change automatically. I don't have to go in and, and redo it every day. So you could put a button here that says today is, and then they would have to pick which one is today. Yesterday was, and they would have to pick which one was yesterday. And then tomorrow is, and they would have to pick which one.